Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Back to the Future the Game for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off, where the true Doc has shown up and Hill Valley has mysteriously disappeared. So we are going to jump straight back in, see what the hell is going on. Um, it's got to have something to do with Edna taking the DeLorean, hasn't it? Uh, we're going to try and figure out what's going on and if we can fix it. So here we go. Where is he? Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. Gonna have to recap a little bit. You see my Because um, it's safe. Artie McFly? That's the one. Just got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Married. I swear. That boy's gonna put his pop on an early grave. So that's how she got her job back. But we didn't uh, fade, did we? He's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was great grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. Holy crap, uh, Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of. That car! That's Great. it, and then Parker shows up. How the hell did she And then she it all goes poof. She? You? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Uh, you did. This exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Well, Wait, Edna Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you Long call it, story. It made a loud noise, and then wham! Nothing! Great Scott! Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is Look bad. at Parker's this face. Is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past. You think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Uh, guys, you mind telling me what the hell you're... And then here we go. <clears throat> this is where we left it, wasn't it? Uh-oh. With Hill Valley fading into nothing. This all reminds me of Back to the Future Part 3. When it's like the Wild West town. So I wonder if she went back to uh -huh. that sort of time and did something. Did I guess we're we gonna find out. Leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. How? Something must have happened to it. A yeah. long time ago. A very long time ago, I'm guessing. Who's this? Oh, that's his... that's Willie, isn't it? Well, now you two look at my lost. It's a different hey, name on the side. What on earth is that thing? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. Look, maybe you can help us. Uh, where's Hill Valley? We're looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it? A hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it though. Just as I suspected. Huh. Uh, when did Hill Valley go away? What happened to it? Who destroyed it? When did when it go? When did Hill Valley go away? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then whatever it was, it must have happened at least 45 years ago. Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary. Jo I've got That's a feeling. Lives a couple miles from here. <clears throat> I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers. I've got a feeling that's actually Michael J. Fox See, voicing Willie. Can tell you what happened to Hill Valley. It's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. I'm pretty sure that is actually him. Because when you compare it to Marty's voice, it sounds exactly like him. Uh, why won't she talk? Why wouldn't she talk to us? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. 
She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can. Mm, I wonder if Mary well, is be Edna. Very polite, please. We gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. It definitely sounds like Michael J. Fox to me. I might be wrong. I guess we'll see on the end credits when we eventually get to the end, I suppose, if it is him. Because it isn't him who voices Marty in this game, so maybe it isn't. Oh, here we go. This is Mary's place, then. Oh, God, what is this? Beware of cat. Mary Pickford. Mary Pickford, eh? Ah, oh, it is her. Look. It's the DeLorean. So what did she do to Hill Valley? Yeah, it's definitely her. Look, wipe your feet. No solicitors. Stop. It's definitely her. Okay, let's take a look around. Jeez, look at this place. It's a saloon sign. There's all sorts of crap around here. Look at this cactus. It's a... <laughs> Why are we being shush? Mary Pickford. A lot of crap around, isn't there? Uh, a blacksmith. Blacksmith. Sign. I wonder if it's from Doc's old shop. Yeah, it could well be, couldn't it? Oh, we've taken it. Interesting. Can we talk to what Doc. Do you see? This vehicle has sustained some serious damage. Way to stay focused, Doc. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's look at the burned-out DeLorean. <laughs> Why does he keep saying shush? It's a clay oven over here, and it's on. Look. <laughs> Apparently, we can't talk to. I'm Doc. guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Can we? Oh. Well, we're taking that for some reason. Look. Anyone in the outhouse? <laughs> Why does he keep telling us to be shush? There's a window. Uh, maybe we'll look at the window in a second. There's a tripwire there. Literally just seen that. Uh, let's look at the saloon An old sign. Saloon sign. So she's got things from Ooh, Hill Valley. Too bad it's all burnt. Back when it was like the Wild West times in Back to the Future Part Three. <laughs> oh damn, the tripwire. Oh, it's her, all right? Me, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us. I don't talk to hooligans. Well, a very friendly sort. That, that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to listen. Just leave it to me. Okay. You think you know how to handle her? Ah, maybe we, we have to do the same sort of thing again. Valley, just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. Okay, so we're going to need information. Uh, can we look in this window? Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment way back in the future. Hmm. Can we do something to this trip wire? Apparently we can pull it. Hey, Miss Strickland. Who are you? Uh, Marty McFly, Michael Corleone. Yakov Smirnov. Michael Corleone. That's a foolish name. And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. But we're not strangers. How do I know you? Uh, you interviewed me once. I saved your life. You tried to have me arrested once. You tried to have me arrested once. A long time ago. Remember? Listen, Sonny. I'm an easygoing woman. But I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is... I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I okay. don't talk about any day but today. Fair enough. If that's how I you want to be. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past. Because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. 
but we're gonna pry it out of her. It's probably Go you. Knock on the door again. All right, if you say so. Can we actually knock on the door? Yep, we can. What? It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? Uh, <clears throat> we spent today together. I saved your life once. I saved your life once, a long time ago, remember? Kid Tannen had you tied up. How many times I gotta tell you? I don't talk about any time but today! Right, okay, well, we spent today together. We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what yep, are you here is. for? Uh, I know who you are. Where's Hill Valley? You stole that DeLorean. I brought something for you. Come on, Miss Strickland. Miss who? Strickland. You're Edna Strickland. Take a look at the mailbox, Sonny. Name's Pickford. Mary Pickford. And it has been for as long as I care to remember. And like I told you, I don't care to remember! Uh, where's Hill Valley? Listen, lady, you've got to tell us where Hill Valley went. Hill Valley? You're standing in Hill Valley. Population one. It was here once. It should be here now. It better be here soon. But there used to be a regular town here, right? Might be there was a town once long ago. Or might be it was in the future. How many times I Maybe the whole time you, travel thing just screwed her head. Time, but today. You stole that DeLorean. You see that car over there? You stole that from, from Carl Sagan, and you, you time-jumped into the past. Me? Yeah. Steal a car. You got a lot of... <coughs> we know money. all about that. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. And I don't really? think about the past. Okay, well, I brought something I brought for you. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. What do we actually have? We've got the saloon sign, expo tickets. I don't know. Maybe the recording device. Will that do the job? I brought you this. I ain't interested in flowers. When are you here? And I especially ain't interested in talking flowers. Put them away. Fine. Uh, what about these tickets from the expo? You must remember this, right? I brought you these tickets to the expo. What expo? The expo you left when you swiped the DeLorean and jumped back in time. Yeah, remember? Stop messing with my brain. I don't know nothing about time travel and I never did. And what's more, I never talk about the past. Hmm. Alright, well. I don't know, maybe Doc knows something. I brought you him. Him. Oh, him. Ah. Him. Oh. It's Doc. It's Carl Sagan. It's Emmett Brown. Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come yeah, closer, it's Doc. Fella. Emmett. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. It can't be! Emmett! Yes, Edna. It's me. It well, is. well, well, she recognizes. It's October 13th, 1931! Oh, and you are Emmett! Emmett! Oh. How did I get so turned around? Have I been dreaming or... Well, stay there. Well, it worked. It's a classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. Ah. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Darling, Look at her faces. You'll come back. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a well, silly this quarrel. Is kind of I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Uh, uh, uh. Don't look at me. Baby face, sweet stuff, schnookums. Oh, jeez. Um, what would he call her? Did he use this one? I think he did. Schnookums. Uh, uh, schnookums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still uh, keeping company weird. with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um... Okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Well, yeah, you're Parker the only resident never... now. Oh. <laughs> I think it got a little bit too much for her. I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? You got found out for being the arsonist. If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Okay. Uh, so do we have to show her something? Maybe some. Maybe this, right? Because this was to do with Parker. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain! Wait, what? She trick. thinks the cactus is afraid. Parker. Oh, he's after me! What the hell? He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! Oh, she's reenacting it! I can't shake him! Well, no use in holding back now! Let's see what this baby can do! And... Here it comes! Yes? Here what comes? I, uh... I, I don't know. Something really <laughs> unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it... How can I be expecting something unexpected at oh what's going on? Quick Marty. Uh oh we've got to find a way to push Is she starting to she snaps out of her reverie. Yeah. Uh okay. <clears throat> Is there anything else we can give her? Maybe Maybe the expo tickets. Not sure what that'll do. Why did it do it on the flipping DeLorean? Uh, why can I not select? Okay, that's strange. Right, maybe we've got to do something with the blacksmith or the uh, other side. Not sure what that'll do. No, saloon, maybe? Maybe she crashed into the saloon? Not sure what that'll do. No. The mop? Not sure what that'll do. No. Huh. I mean, I can't talk to her. I don't suppose the flux capacitor still works. I build my parts sturdy, but not that sturdy. Uh, strange. So, we don't seem to be able to talk to her. Can we talk to the Can't you move a little faster, Danny? He'll never catch me in this car. It's about to do something ah, okay. unbelievable. Right, so we need to sort of... Help me figure something out. 
Yes? She's waiting for a time jump. She's waiting for a time jump. I know, but that DeLorean's jumping days are behind it. Still, maybe there's some way to simulate the experience. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, what's going to happen to us? Explain something to me, Doc. Edna jumped to the past and made Hill Valley disappear, right? That's the working hypothesis. Then how come we're still around? Whatever Edna did to Hill yeah, Valley weird, have isn't it? so long ago that the ripples in the time stream haven't caught up with us yet. So, okay. how long do we have before the ripples catch up with us? Oh, I'm sure we've got at least an hour before everything goes to hell. Great. An hour? That's not very long. Uh, Artie and Trixie? If we don't restore the timeline, I'll never be born, r right? Probably not. Yep. But even if we do restore it, my grandpa's gone and married the wrong woman. Either way, I'm, I'm hosed. One crisis at a time. Possibly, yeah. Right now, let's worry about getting the full story out of Edna. Uh, how did Edna get marooned in the past? Edna used the DeLorean to jump into the past. I wonder why she never jumped out again. Put yourself in her shoes. Unexpectedly propelled into the past by an unreliable time machine. Do you risk another trip? I might. <laughs> okay, uh, could the DeLorean tell us when she landed? Maybe we could check the time circuits to find out what date she Don't landed. I if the circuits are could, just like busted. left the time circuits, but I'm afraid they rusted out long ago. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, how did it die? When do you think it died? Did it just the like DeLorean, run out of batteries? I mean. That vehicle hasn't been operational in a very long time. My guess is whatever happened to Hill Valley also happened to it. Hmm, okay. Edna's cracked. You know, I've been dealing with Edna Strickland a lot lately, and I've seen her old and I've seen her young, but I've never seen her so... That shit crazy? Right. <laughs> well, that's one way of putting it. How'd she get like this? How do you think Edna got this way? I guess that Edna's immense guilt over whatever she did in the past, combined with the trauma of traveling through time, has caused her to repress her memories. Huh? If you want to find out what happened, we'll have to break through those blocks, preferably before the time ripples catch up with us. We'll never get through to her. You really think we can get through to Edna? She seems pretty... out there. Even the most repressed memories can be restored with the appropriate stimulation. We just have to find the right cues to lead her down a path of emotional recovery before we get erased by the time stream. Sure, right. no problem. It's disorienting enough under the best of circumstances. Imagine the effect on a mind that's completely unprepared, especially a mind that yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Chaos screwed her up, hasn't it? Uh, what will we do about Artie and Trixie? I still can't believe my grandpa married Trixie. What are we going to do about that? It's a dire situation, but I'm afraid I'll have to take a back seat to unraveling this unspeakable catastrophe. Okay, well, um... I'll figure something out. I'm sure you will. I mean, I don't know what we've got to do, really. We've got So we've got to replicate what happened when she... It looks like Doc's old sign, but I guess it couldn't be. The top of a mop. I could flop it on a cop. I could swap it for a top. I can... I think I'll stop. <laughs> Sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. It's an old saloon sign. Looks like it's been through a few bar fights. Right, so we're going to have to try and replicate what happened when she landed here. I'm not really sure how we're going to do that. Um, Maybe something to do with this oven or the outhouse? It's got to be something over here, right? Because it's right in front of where the car is. Um, I guess we'll call it an episode there, then. The mystery deepens, and um, the story goes on. And I'm still really enjoying it, so I can't wait to see what happens next. In a way, I kind of feel sorry for Edna again. It's been a weird old journey, hasn't it? Because at the very start of the game, we felt sorry for her. Then she turned into an absolute monster, and we hated her. Um... And she slowly manipulated Emmett, and now you kind of have to feel sorry for her a little bit again. It's um, a real range of emotions. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.